as a hunter, you know, we all look for that pellet in our gun that will, you know, do the job for the game that we're shooting at, you know, that will take it down with authority and the best humane way possible. And uh, I can't think of another pellet than the Predator Polymags or the Metal Mags. Um, they took the design from the original Polymags, but the only difference is the, only difference is the, the tip. It's, uh, you know, the Polymag has that polymer tip and the metal mag has a kind of a metal a zinc tip which is supposed to provide a more penetration both are supposed to but um, the metal mag is just supposed to just provide a little bit more um, it is a little heavier pellet 17 grain compared to the 16 grain so yeah well I mean we'll, we should see what that does you know when I've always wanted to test these pellets I've only had one or the other uh, I think in the, one of the last videos, I only had a uh, the metal mags. I didn't have the poly mags, uh, which I wish I would have had the time, but I didn't. So, luckily, I have them now. I had to buy a new tin. And the metal mags, I've I've had them since almost since it, they came out. Uh, didn't really use them, uh, mainly because you know I didn't do much hunting, and if I did, you know I just went over for my JSBs. But, you know, like I said, I want to see what these pellets do in comparison with penetration, um, uh, I guess, what kind of damage they will do to, to anything. You know, we're always interested to see what these pellets would do on contact with uh, whatever you're shooting at. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, probably not, but uh, a lot of these uh, zinc tips are just separated from the pellet itself. You know, it's not just one or two; it's it's a lot of them. I'm pretty sure you can see them, and it's just a quality issue. You know, some are in good intact, uh, but most of them aren't. You know, I never I never had a problem with the Polymax with that. So I think I've heard this that's an issue uh, or it was an issue before. Maybe they fixed it by now, but I wouldn't know. I haven't bought a tell it uh, a tin of pellets in a long time. But hopefully they fixed that. Um, so yeah, let's let's get to this. I just you know I'm a little excited to see what these pellets do. I normally don't do accuracy tests with pellets, uh, mainly because you know they're gonna vary with your gun. You know you. Just because it's accurate in this gun, it's not going to be accurate in another gun. But since I have both of them, why not? You know, let's see which one fits better for my gun, and I'll stick to that just for future uh, uh, hunting. Here's a little view of the pellets. Only difference is that tip. And maybe a size, but I can't tell. I'm gonna probably just crony them too, since why not? You know, I I just uh, got this crony since my last one broke, and I just want to see how they're shooting at at almost full power in my gun. So on with the accuracy test. First, I started with the metal mags. You can see how every shot was just moving, but I still went went ahead and did it, even though it was, it was useless. Um, then I, I went ahead with the pollen with the polymags, and I took two shots. Uh, I was able to see from where I was, that's why I went on and still continued. But I realized that probably the camera wasn't catching, so fixed the box. Took uh, four more shots because um, that flyer there. I know that was because of me. And you can see the polymags just did better than the metal mags. Obviously, because the box was in place. So I wasn't satisfied with the, the first group. And I decided to go ahead and try a second one. This time with the stable box there. And. I did way better with the first group than the first group and yeah I mean both pellets did pretty good. Uh, the polymags just edged out 
the metal knives just a bit. Uh, it wasn't for that wire. But even so, you know, they're pretty good uh, results for 25 yards. Here are the groups up close. Just taking out dimes so you can get a, uh, an idea how big the groups are. Uh, they seem pretty close in size, but I think the polymags just etched out that. The uh, metal mags, uh, you know, if you take out that flyer there. Um, again, 25 yards with these pellets, I'm pretty happy uh, since I rarely use them and you know, I might just use them uh, later on in the future, especially the polymags. For the ballistics test, I only had this old piece of meat here that was just going bad in the refrigerator. But I thought it would be a, a good way of showing how these uh, pellets do on the flesh. Um, I shot these at 15 yards uh, because, like, personally, I feel like these pellets are made for, for close to mid range hunting, and you can use the full potential of uh, these pellets. You can see how the front looks pretty similar, but in the back, you can see what these pellets do. It just tears up, uh, tears up that meat pretty good in there. I was just looking for the pellets and that polymer tips always seems to separate from the polymag right away uh, upon impact and then the pellet just goes on for a little bit more so it expanded like, like it's made to do uh, that metal mag was a little harder to find it seems like it went in deeper and I found it but it expanded the same way so it did pretty good uh, penetration test. As you can see I have a uh, nice piece of wood here. It's not that thick but it's not very thin either. Uh, two bottles of water for each shot. Uh, I'll be surprised if you know if any of them go through the wood and still manage to penetrate one bottle uh, just because these these pellets just flatten on impact. But in theory the metal mags should penetrate more and we should see you see i have these uh bricks here just so i can hold this piece of wood down so it's very windy all right So here's the uh, metal mag, the poly mag. So the poly mag didn't go to the bottle. Nothing. Not even the second one. As you can see, the pellet is right there. So it went through. But like I like I said, it was gonna expand and just you know. Which is good. It's gonna transfer energy right away into uh, into your target. The metal mag, though, did go through the first one. Uh, let me see if I can clear this up right here. It's right. Let's see. It's right there in the corner. There it is. And seems like it's still intact. Um, 
you know, nothing, nothing to the second one. So, as far as penetration, the metal mag definitely um, does the job. You know, it seems like it expands too, but it mostly just penetrates, which is ideal for tougher animals. Uh, it's going to give you that extra penetration. Um, so, if you're hunting maybe raccoons or something that's maybe even a coyote, uh, I would try with the bare caliber, but that pellet is definitely going to do the job. But I'm still not satisfied. Uh, I want to see how much better the metal mag penetrates. So, let's see if it does anything to this uh, nice piece of hard aluminum. It's not steel. Maybe it's not aluminum, I don't know. But, let's see, I already have uh, shots. Uh, these are from James Mills, they should be like 30 yards away. Uh, this is just, what, 15 yards? I want to see if uh, either the metal mag or the poly mag penetrates. Uh, obviously, the metal mag seems to have the upper hand, but uh, we should see. Alright, we'll use the old uh, shots there as a point reference. I'm going to shoot the polymac first. None of them. Hmm. Alright, it doesn't seem like any of them did anything. If anything, it looks like the polymac did more damage. But, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a thick piece of uh, metal here. Um, I doubt any pellet could penetrate this. A 22 caliber. Just wanted to shoot these bottles that were left over for the penetration test. The second clips you see there are supposed to be slow motion. Um, I really can't see them here, but I'm gonna be very disappointed if you can't, because it was just a waste of time. If not, but anyways, um, the pellets seem to just penetrate the first bottle and go into the second one. Uh, the first one with the metal mag, I couldn't find it a metal tip. I don't know what happened there. Um, maybe there's a pellet right there. And the poly mag, like I said, I, the tip seems to just separate upon impact from the pellet. You see it right there in the first bottle, the pellet on the second. Um, also, these bottles are pressurized. Um, they had some soda before then, and I just added water, so. I think that's one of the reasons they don't penetrate all the way because there's pressure inside. But obviously they didn't penetrate because the boss is going to the wood either. So you choose a winner. I couldn't say one pellet is better than the other because they just perform very similar. Uh, if anything, the metal mag has a little bit more penetration. But as far as uh, expansion, uh, they just perform the same. So it's all going to come down to which pellet your gun likes and go on from there but either, either way they're you know both of them are great for hunting and I wouldn't be uh, disappointed by any of them right there